All right, hey you guys, thank you so much for being here. I'm gonna give you a quick video on Pensacola Beach updates June 2021. And there's a few things that I wanna share with you, but first I wanna tell you that the beach is in full summer swing. So it's definitely getting busy. There are crowds and it's a little bit slower to get around Pensacola Beach. You just have to expect that because everybody loves the beach and everybody wants to come and see it. So they're here, but don't worry. There's still plenty of space on that beach. It's a nice wide beach. There's plenty of ocean water for you to enjoy that beach. I just want to talk a little bit about getting to the beach. You're probably making your plans. We have a couple of updates for you. So the bridge coming from Pensacola and landing in Gulf Breeze, that has been opened two lanes both ways. So that is gonna make it way easier to get to the beach from Pensacola area. It's great. Um, in addition to that, the Garson Point Toll Bridge is now gonna to start charging tolls as of June 20th. They did reinstate that toll. That's, that's definitely happening. Uh, also, down in Pensacola Beach, we have a few things that I wanna talk about. Felix's Oyster House is planning to be open, hoping the end of July. So I hear so many good things about this. It is the same owner that owns the locations in Mobile, Alabama. And I have people constantly telling me that I have to go try it. It's a great place. But now we're gonna be able to, it's on. It's gonna be on Pensacola Beach. So I can't wait for that. That's gonna be awesome. Also on the boardwalk, there's a location. They're doing some renovations. They're tearing some stuff down. It's on the end, it's Castaways. It's a great location. It's right on the end of the boardwalk. They have beautiful view, they have a deck. And uh, I don't know what's going on there, but it looks like there's a little bit of demolition. So I don't know if they're going to take it all down, rebuild it, or they're just fixing it. But I'm keeping my eye on that because that is a sweet spot. So that's going to be awesome. Uh, also, the pier, they are starting some temporary work on that. I don't know if that means that we're going to be able to be on the pier or what, what that means. But I like progress. <laughs> it's been months and months and nothing has been happening. So to hear that, that they're doing some temporary updates maybe that'll get people on the pier and then maybe they'll do some permanent ones maybe off season all right and we're going to take a look at some fun things to do in pensacola beach that i haven't shown you yet so this is awesome the first thing is a dolphin cruise there's a ton of different companies down in pensacola beach that will give you dolphin cruises they run 25 30 dollars something in that range and you can book it online um your time that you prefer various types of cruises like they have fireworks cruises some of them do sunset cruises there's all kinds of different ones out there and so I was able to go on a dolphin cruise through Chase and Fins. It's really fun. The captains are just funny. They, they talk with you and they interact with you and they have so much fun. And it's a great, it's a nice roomy ship. There's a bathroom on there if, if you need that. And you're also allowed to bring your coolers or snacks and things like that. So you have um, your two hours away from shore and you have everything that you need. So here's a little video on my dolphin cruise with Chase and Fins. Big shout out to Chase and Fins for letting me check it out today and um, I'm sure we'll be seeing you guys again so thank you so much all right for the dolphin tours you guys that I just took when you come off um, or come onto the island you want to turn into the driveway right after this blue building right there so this is what you're looking for right here is what you're looking for 
All right, next you guys, I'm gonna take you to Glow Paddle, which I didn't know existed, but it's really cool. They have clear kayaks with lights in them. So you can take those out at dusk and then you know into the night, even up till midnight. And you can kayak in this glowing kayak. It's really, really cool and it, it takes great pictures. Um, I think it looks really fun and neat. So I actually saw a couple on a date um, doing glow paddle and that was fun. You could go with a group, you could go with your friends, you could go with your family. They have life jackets for the kids and it's just a great experience. It's about a 45 minute uh, kayak experience. So definitely check that out. Uh, it's a lot of fun. All right, you guys, and I want to talk a little bit about renting um, fun activities to do on Pensacola Beach. So you can uh, rent out surfboards, you can rent out bicycles, scooters, golf carts, and you can ride the scooters and the golf carts right on the road on Pensacola Beach. So that's allowed. Um, there's two locations that I found. Scooter Hut, which is right on Pensacola Beach, and also the Fun Store, which is by the Shrimp Basket. And they also have um, things you can buy in the store, like kites. Like I see actually a lot of people flying kites um, on the beach. So that's kind of a fun activity, but they do have various things in that store to help you have a fun vacation. Also, we have Radical Rides on Pensacola Beach, and they rent out jet skis. They actually have brand new jet skis, which look really nice. And they also do parasailing too. So that's kind of fun. All right, you guys, I also found pontoon rentals and uh, fishing charters. So there's several different companies along Pensacola Beach that will do this. I found most of them or I found a lot of them on the marina side of the bay. And uh, there's various signs. You can go look there and, and um, check out their websites and find out what they offer. I know a lot of the fishing charters might be more like a four hour at minimum. Um, and the um, pontoon boat rides, it depends on how long you want to rent a pontoon boat. But there, I did see a double pontoon with a slide from the top, which looks kind of fun. So yeah, something fun to do and uh, might be just something to make those forever memories. I want to mention Fort Pickens. It's uh, on the National Park. So there is a fee. There's a $20 per day fee to go on the National Park uh, or $40 per year. And for those who like to camp, um, I would recommend checking out the Fort Pickens campground. But once you get in, you have the, you know, the campground, which is, um, I think it's really nice. And there are a couple beach accesses. There's a small parking lot. It is a little bit of a walk to get to the beach, but once you get there, it's just really pretty. And also, you have Fort Pickens down there too. Don't forget about that. It's um, once you're through the national park, you get to Fort Pickens, and you can explore and walk around for free. Um, some people actually will go and watch the Blue Angels. They practice Tuesdays and Wednesdays each week. Uh, I think it's 11:30 in the morning. They bring their chairs and they go out and they just watch them you guys and I just love coming back from Fort Pickens and driving by that ocean it's just so amazing um, put those windows down drink your coffee listen to some tunes and just enjoy enjoy that ride it's just so unique you don't really find that type of beach land um, without buildings and things like that and this is just so unique it's been preserved and it really is something special all right you guys and that's the end of my video thank you so much for coming along and we will catch you soon